I suppose my approach would be coming from a natural, using natural elements, using plants, rust, and things like that to create dye and to make marks on fabric and paper um, without using really chemicals. Now sometimes for the dyes to hold you have to, but I try to not to use um, chemicals. It's as natural a process as possible. Natural plant material, um, found objects like the, the rusty items here, um, onion skins, boiled produces dye, avocado skins um, produce a pink dye and flowers, petals, um, you can get dyes off those as well and leaves. Eucalyptus is a very popular one that produces a really you know good print and it's, it's trial and error as well because some things will create today it's going to be a beautiful print and tomorrow you mightn't get anything from it. And there is a chemistry, there is a science in it, but it still is very hit and miss, depends on the water, the temperature, the plant material, how long you have it, all sorts of things. I started experimenting with it, I suppose, when I did a course in um, Crawford, a fine art textile course, and I started with the rust dyeing. But I suppose before that, I come from the countryside, and when I started doing art as well, nature would have been my inspiration, trees, sea they would have been a huge inspiration. So I suppose moving then into actually incorporating plant material and natural methods into my art, it was like a natural progression, if you pardon the pun, um, to, to actually incorporate nature in the piece of, of work. So I suppose I started doing that um, maybe three, three years ago. Anything textile I will work with and I suppose my, my original um, introduction to textile was knitting. As a child and embroidery I was taught at home and in school and I loved knitting and then I had family and children and I kind of took a, a hiatus there and um, I did a um, a silk dyeing course with Carmel Creener in the community about 10, 12 years ago and she introduced me to the world of textile art and I was, it was like wow, you know, you can use stitch to, to actually make, it's not all functional, it can make art as well and um, then I joined the network after that which really keeps you in the, the loop and keeps you in touch with what's happening and seeing so many other artists and so many other techniques and how broad textile art is really. My way of being, my way of living is maybe waste not want not, you know, I can still hear my aunt saying willful waste makes woeful want, so it's to get another use out of things and to see in a rusty old object that there's still life in it. You reuse, you see, you don't just throw everything away, that there are possibilities in, in that. There's another piece there, it's like a spiral that I got from a garden ornament. Um, and I like the line of that and I like the shape of it. But you could be drawn to something and think this is going to produce a great mark and it mightn't produce what you'd hoped at all and something as simple as um, like washers like circles can produce fantastic marks you never know really what's going to be the end result so some things turn out great when you open it up when you look at it and some things require a bit of um, extra work the, the object is an unknown kind of in the, the process because it can 
produce one thing today and it corrodes or changes, the object changes. So you, you might never again get, you might get the same print twice. So it's more the mark that the object produces is where the kind of the inspiration comes from then.